How to Test Zolex Series Defibrillator If you're a first responder or medical professional, ensuring your Zolex Series defibrillator is in top working condition is critical. Here, how you can test it thoroughly. First, let's start with the daily checks. Every day, you need to go through a specific checklist to ensure the device is ready for use. Begin by making sure the defibrillator is connected to AC power. Then, check the battery by pressing the test button. It should indicate that the battery is fully charged. Next, look at the ready for use window. If you see a black circle, you're good to go. If you see a red slash circle, take the corrective action displayed on the screen, such as replacing expired pads or connecting to AC power. If the black circle doesn't appear after taking corrective action, take the device out of service and call the service center. Now, press the green power button and verify that self-test passed appears on the screen. If it shows self-test failed, the device needs to be taken out of service and replaced. Disconnect the defibrillator from AC power and connect the therapy cable to the test block. Set the energy to 30 joules using the energy select buttons, then press the charge button. When you hear the ready tone, press the shock button until the shock is delivered. If the display shows defib short test passed, the device is ready. Otherwise, it needs to be taken out of service. Reconnect the defibrillator to AC power and ensure all necessary accessories are present, including the therapy cable, defibrillation pads, three lead monitor cable, monitoring electrodes, NIBP cuff and tubing, and the filter line H set at GO2. During the pre shift check, also perform a battery operation test. With the unit mounted on the wall charging bracket, check that the green auxiliary power LED illuminates and verify the battery charge state with a green or orange LED. Turn on the unit and ensure it issues to audio beeps and that the red, yellow, and green visual alarm indicators illuminate for a few seconds. The screen should display self-test passed. If the ready for use indicator is flashing or not displayed, ensure a fully charged battery is installed. If the issue persists, withdraw the device from service and report the fault. Finally, power off the device, then power it back on to ensure it operates correctly on battery power and displays self-test passed. By following these steps, you can ensure your Zoll X Series defibrillator is always ready to save lives. Remember, these checks are not just routine, they are essential for the safety and effectiveness of the device.